Good afternoon, good evening. Today is October 12th, 2021. Welcome to the Julie and Milo Show. My name is Julie. I am coming to you from Orange County, California. My dear friend, Milo. Milo, could you please say hello? Hey, how are you guys doing? It's Milo from Nashville, Tennessee. Wow, hello, Milo. Milo, it has been almost a year. You and I sitting down together every single day talking about on passive on passive is a gift to humanity and it is a gift that keep on giving and it takes so many people around the world to be able to share on passive with other you know you and i have been in the community of on passive for over two years for myself over two years for you over three years but we feel that this is the most blessed we have ever because Every single day, we get to sit down and talk to founders around the world. And today, we do have a special guest. We waited for a long time, and I'm so excited to have him here with us. So, Milo, could you please do me the honor to introduce our guest today? Wow, isn't that the truth, Julie? We're elated to have this guy. I mean, he's one of the superheroes. He's one that they come on at the very beginning, and he has made a huge difference in on passion. And I'm talking about... None other than Mr. Mike Ellis. Mike, come on out. Mike, so good to have you on the show, man. It's so good to have you here today. Hello, Mike. It's so good to have you. It's such an honor for, for us to sit here with you and interview you. So thank you very much for your time. Well, I, I, I can tell you the honor is mine. You two are the are the gold standard, and, and I'm sorry it's taken so long to get here, but uh, have been looking forward to it for a long time. And, and like I said, you guys are the gold standard. Everybody in Unpassive knows that. So this will be fun. Uh, thanks, Mike. Mike, we love talking to the founders, and we love uh, talking to them and learning more about them. And, and this is what we want to do today with you. And I know you've been around for a long time and it's like we're sitting in royalty or whatever, you know, uh, to be sitting across from you and uh, looking at you here. But uh, let's start where it all began. Where, where were you born? You know, your, your parents, your siblings, stuff like that. Tell us about your family. Uh, I, I was born in Germany, Milo. I, uh, I'm an army brat. So grew up in the army, uh, dad retired, and then, you know, life went on. So I, I've been uh, in a lot of different places around the world, uh, met a lot of really interesting and good people. Uh, and of course, military people are absolutely the best. They, uh, uh, they just have a, a great um, moral base and, and they try and do things the right way. So I grew up in that, and of course, mom and dad uh, um, um, trans transferred that to to all the kids. I, I I'm in a family of eleven, so oh, nine wow. brothers and sisters. Yeah, um, yeah. So it's uh, it's been a long time since I've been with the folks. <laughs> so uh, yeah, a, a lot of time under under the bridge, but life is good, absolutely good. You know. Uh, it's, it's so good to sit here and have a chat with you. And i like to know what are the interesting things that you have done in life, things that you willing to share with us? Uh, yeah, like we've talked about before, Julie, um, you know, m my life really isn't relevant to most people. To some people, they would find it interesting. To other people, they go, ah, eh, you know, just another life. Uh, I will tell you that everything in my life today, it starts with Christ and Christ through Christ, okay? And it ends in Christ with Christ and through Christ, okay? Uh, for me, that's the most relevant thing I can tell people because it gives them an idea of who I am. 
Uh, and from there, uh, we can go wherever they want to go. Uh, there's not much I don't talk about. Um, I talk about on passive, passionately, um, but on pa business, religion, politics, I talk about all those things. Most people try and stay away from religion and politics. And, and I, I understand why, but that's just my nature. Uh, and those are important things, but... Um, that's my life, Julie. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I, I don't get into the early years. It's really not relevant what I did 30 years ago. Uh, it, it really isn't. Where we're at today, what we're doing today, and how we're interacting with people and changing lives, uh, that's exciting. And, and, and it's exciting not only for me, but for Marty and Dan. I know they, they feel the same way. Uh, and, and, and all three of us put together are pretty good communicators. If I miss something, believe me, they will catch it. <laughs> so so you, you, you have mentioned a little bit of my next questions. What is your journey like with Marty and Dan without even going into what we are in right now? Just how do you meet them and how, how does that all start? Yeah, yeah. You know, Marty has told this story quite a bit um, and, and he's pretty much right on. Uh, the chances that Marty and I would meet are one in a billion. It doesn't happen. And that's why every day is blessed and I don't think there are any accidents. And, and when Marty and I met, we, we clicked right away because we were on the same page. I mean, we were talking the same language. And it was really, really interesting. We, we started working online and we were doing all the things that the, the gurus told us to do. And, and one day, Marty and I, and Dan had come into the group by then. One day we, we were looking at each other and we're going, you know, these people don't know anything. We know more than them. Why are we listening to them? Uh, and, and that's when Marty, Dan, and I really started to take off and do our own thing, think outside the box and do things that nobody else online is doing. And when you think about Marty and Dan, they're, you know, I know people look at Marty in that first reaction, big guy from New Jersey. Um, Marty and Dan, they're brilliant. Uh, and, and, and that's why if you ever get a chance to sit down with them uh, off the record, and just listen to them talk, uh, you, you'll be amazed. It'll, it'll blow you away. It's a lot, you know, Marty and Ash have, have a lot of the same things in common. Now, now Ash has a vision and the resources that, that, that nobody else has. I mean, Ash is, is one of a kind. But when you sit down with Marty and Dan and you listen to them, you understand there's something unique there. There's something you don't hear every day. Uh, and for me, that's a joy. It really is. Absolutely. I love it, Mike. I love how you live in the moment, too. You know, and, and so many people don't do that. You know, they they forget about right now, you know, and they want to live in the memories or they want to do this and that. No, it's about what's happening right now, what's in front of us and what we can do. I love that part about you. So uh, let me go. Uh, let me go someplace else. What about hobbies? Do you have any hobbies, a uh, football team that you like or Anything like that? You like music? I, uh, when, when I can, I fish. Fish, okay. I go to Alaska, go to Canada. Um, obviously, with OnPassive coming on board, Belize, you go over to Papua New Guinea uh, and experience that, that, uh, that beautiful country that uh, David Baku is in. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of things. You know, it's funny, as on passive launches, there are a lot of things we're all going to be doing that perhaps we haven't done before. Um, and, and one of those things is seeing a lot of the country that we haven't seen before. I, I've been in Julie's part of the world, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful part of the world, Orange County, that whole coast of California. Where, where are you from, Milo? I'm from Nashville. Okay, Nashville. Nashville. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's another beautiful part of the country. And each, right. each area that we go to, uh, another one of my hobbies <laughs> is as you go to any place in the country or the world is the food. Oh, yeah. I mean, you yeah. have to experience the food of, of each culture in each area because there are some great cooks out there. And I, I love to eat. I absolutely <laughs> love to eat. So oh, uh, that, that's, that's kind of where I'm at, Milo. 
Yeah, you can look at me and tell that I love to eat too much sometimes. <laughs> well, again, you need to take care of yourself because oh, what's yeah. coming, you don't want to miss this. So that take care, bad. take care of that health. I, I'm, I'm trying. Oh, believe me, Dan and I are on Marty all the time. <laughs> I mean, he, he's going to be down to 160 here pretty soon. He's going to be uh, thin and lean. Julie's on me every day. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, I need it, you know. Yeah, Julie, absolutely. Throw the mic back to you. Sure. Absolutely. Thank you. So, Mike, um, I know you're a non-passive. I know you started a while back. Mm -hmm. I'd like to find out from you. When did you start on passive and how is your journey, how, how has your journey been in on passive? You know, I, I think initially coming into on passive, um, I was like everybody else. I was a skeptic, but, but that's kind of my nature. And, and Marty's the one that jumps in with both feet and then we figure out what we're doing. Uh, as I came into on passive, I had heard Ash Mufara speak. And I listened to him for about seven minutes and turned it off. Said, I'll never do business with this guy. He's a nut. Uh, that's, you know, it, it's just, and it, and it wasn't that Ash Mufara, the things that he was saying were, were absolutely awesome. I just didn't believe him because he was talking about things that you know, they really are revolutionary, never been done before. And because of the way Ash communicates, it's fine for Marty, but for me, I'm, I'm, all right, just, just give it to me. Boom, 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 five minutes, we're done. Well, that's not Ash. He's going to take four, four hours to tell you 20 minutes worth of, uh, of material. And as, I came, as we came in and Marty, Dan, and I, we started to listen more and more about Ash. We started to, to learn the code of Ash Mufara and understood what he was saying. And, and it didn't take long. Uh, I, I think it took maybe two, three months. And that fourth month, I mean, we were on fire. And, and that did get us into a little trouble with, with on passive, but we, we, we probably don't need to talk about that story. But once we got past that, uh, it's been, uh, it's been free sailing since, uh, it's, it's been an awesome, awesome journey. And the nice thing about Ash Mufara and on passive, we haven't stopped learning. And, and people don't understand, and, and we're kind of in a, in a unique position because we were in so early, because we have a relationship with Ash, uh, we're in a unique position to understand that the things we know about on passive right now, maybe, maybe it's 20%, okay? And, and think about that. Think about that. As good as on passive is, and, and believe me, it's good. Uh, there's only 20% of it that we know. And the other 80% is just going to, it's, it's, it's going to blow people away, Julie. Uh, I, it, th this is such a neat journey. And it really is something that we've been looking for, for probably 12, 15 years. That's how long I've been online. Uh, and to find this and be a part of it uh, with you and Milo and, and the other founding members, uh, it really is a joy. And people don't get that yet. And, and when they don't, it, it, it frustrates me. And I come across kind of curses. And that's, that's not what I try and do. Um, it's, it's positive, but open your eyes. You know, it's really, really cool what's happening. Absolutely. So, um, you know, you probably don't know this, but you are a very, very powerful man. You made the most impact in uh, on passive community, uh, you have changed so many people's lives. You train so many people, and I know you probably have made about over four thousand videos. What's your thoughts? And 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 talk to me a little bit about how you decided to be. I'm taking this role. I'm going to share this message. Talk to me about that. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what's going through you? How do you go through to actually be putting some of these amazing videos out there? And so many people got impacted by the videos that you put out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sure, 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 Julie. I, I can do that. Um, powerful. Ah, uh, I'm a founder just like everybody else. Okay. The difference between myself and, and other founding members, I was in early. Uh, and there was a niche to be filled, 
And that niche was explaining on passive. And I did that with Marty and Dan talking about on passive, lis listening to Ash, deciphering what he's going to say, and then doing the videos. Uh, the most joy I get out of that is that it is changing lives. I, I know there are a lot of people that have seen my videos and said, yeah, I have to do this. Um, and, um, and they think about me and, and, and that's nice, but, but it really isn't just me. It's, it's so many different people that I listen to within on passive, um, and, and the videos that we do, Marty, Dan, and I, it, it's a collaboration. We, we talk about it. We, uh, and again, those are the conversations that I wish you all could listen to. Uh, because by the time we're done, we're, we're at a pitch fever. I mean, we're just really, really excited about what OnPassive is doing. But I started doing videos probably four years before we got into OnPassive. The first video was absolutely horrible, even though Marty was very, very kind and said, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it wasn't. It was horrible. So it's like anything, the more you do it, the better you get at it. And by the time we came into OnPassive, I knew how to do a video. And then all of a sudden, you know, before we had had things that were exciting for a very, very small period of time. And then we got into on passive and now we have something that's exciting every single day. So it's very, very easy to do a video. Um, if, if, you've, if you've followed the videos that I've been doing over the last two months, I've toned back and I've done that on purpose because there are just things in on passive we can't talk about uh, in an open forum like this. We, we just can't talk about it. There are videos I would like to do today, Marty would like to do today, Dan would like to do today, that would get us fired. <laughs> and and not, not really. Ash, he, he would just, he would come on and say, take it down. And he's done that before. Uh, but they're just things we can't talk about that we talk, talk to each other about. And, and, and those videos will be coming out shortly. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's not only about the 20% of Unpassive we know, but it's starting to get to that 80%. And when you start to understand the next 10% and then the next 10%, you're going to understand that you're in a place that is so unique, so unusual in life, and it only comes around maybe once in a lifetime. This has never happened to me before. And, and, I, and I'm not, you know, I'm not a young whippersnapper anymore. I, there's some years behind me. This has never happened before. And I've had very, very good years in the past, but nothing like this. And that's on passive. That's why today when I do videos, it's always exciting it, it, for me anyway. Now the people that look at them, they can look at them. And, and believe me, I do get some pretty snide remarks, guys. And, and you, you guys do too, I'm sure. Those individuals out there that can't stand success. And I'm talking not about our success, but on passive. Uh, and, and those individuals in a very, very short period of time, they're going to be so disappointed <laughs> that they were the way they were. But, but the video side of it, Julie, it, it's, it's been really, really fun. We just filled a niche. Marty, Dan, and I talked about it, put the videos up, and some of them worked. So that, that's a good thing. I, I wanted to say thank you, Mike, for everything that you do. And I'm very sure when doing those P videos, it, it's, it's about the concentration. It's the knowledge that you share, but there are certain things that you can't say. So on behalf of the whole entire community of On Passive, I just want to say thank you. And we appreciate you so much for doing what you do, Mike. Well, you, you, you guys are very, very welcome. But again, you two are the golden standard. So uh, you're not too shabby. <laughs> hey, Mike, I, I think as you were saying about your first videos, you know, me and Julie just started uh, doing this in December, December 4th. Now, I had did some videos with previous, so I was a little more familiar with it than, than Julie. But I tell you what, you go back and look at some of our first videos, and it's like, oh, we actually put that out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, it, it is a growing thing. But what I would like to talk to you about is, you, you know, uh, we like to say on the show that, you know, own passive is changing the world one person at a time. And it started with Ash McFarlane. And Ash had actually made a quote and he said, he said, I might not be able to change the world, but I can change somebody's world. And then the other day he come on and he says, do you want to join my club? And it's like, you put those three quotes together 
that is huge. You know, we can change it. You know, we'll be able, all of us, do our part and change the world. So when we first started in Own Passive, all of us, we started in Own Passive. It's about residual income and, hey, Hop, what's it going to do for us? How's it going to help for us? And then all of a sudden, it's like something changes in our mind and our heart. And we realize, you know what? It's a lot bigger than that. It's more about humanity, you know, helping humanity, changing people's lives and stuff like that. So I'd like to ask you two questions. Number one is, is what is Own Passive going to do for, for you, yourself? Uh, you know, what is it going to do for Mike Ellis, number one? And then number two is because you're, you, we all know that, that we'll have plenty of apples for us, but there's going to be apples left over. What would you like to do with your extra apples? You know, I'm not that much different than anybody that comes into Impassive, Milo. Uh, as I first came into Impassive, uh, it was about me. Um, we, you know, we've been doing this a very, very long time. And yes, we've had some success, but not the kind of success that, that we want. So initially, as I came into Impassive, it was about Mike Ellis, Marty Dan, um, and what can Impassive do for us and what kind of money can we make and, and i don't have a problem saying the word money i know i know they're apples but money yeah. um and and so we went to work uh but it changed very very quickly um and it, it really has to do with the heart uh, of marty dan and I. I i mean we have a heart to help people we want to help people and that was one of the problems we had with with other businesses we could do very very well but we couldn't help anybody uh, I mean, it's just, it's just the way it was. And, and when Ash Mufar came on and started to, to express his vision, it was a lot like what we had. He just had the resources and the vision to do what he was talking about. We didn't. Uh, number one, we didn't have the money to do that. We didn't have that vision either. I mean, how do you help people? So Ash has come on and given us the opportunity not only to take care of ourselves, fill our pockets, fill that tank, and have that financial independence. But when you get past that, now you start to understand that second phase of what we wanted. How do we help people? And on passive, it's, it's remarkable. I don't care who you talk about. I don't care who we talk about or who we talk to. We can help them. I couldn't say that three years ago. But today, whether they believe it or not, and that's up to them, but if they come in and listen to what we have to say, their life is going to change. And, and you're right, Marlo, my, uh, Milo. You know, we change one life at a time. We change our community first. And then we can branch out into the world and start helping other people. Um, and there are so many people out there today that are in the mode of helping people. They're giving their lives to service, but they don't have the money to do that. And as Marty, Dan, and I talk, we, we talk about, what well, we want to do these things. How do we do it? Well, there are already people out there doing it. And all we have to do is find them, find good. It's like on passive, clean, ethical, honest. Find those individuals in those areas that we want to, we want to make the world better. And then we, we can help them. And, 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 and I know you all have thought about this, and probably a lot of the founders have thought about this too. But if we find a good cause out here with a million founders, it's done. I mean, and it's done for the next decade. <laughs> That's the kind of money we can raise with on passive. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and with the, uh, with the amount of money, amount of apples the founders are going to be making, every founder, it's going to be amazing what they can give to different areas in life. Um, and, and when I think of what's going to be happening to every founder, the founder that comes in at, at the very last day or the first founder that came in, not going to be that much difference, guys. Uh, you know, those, fi those financial woes that you think about and what you want to make, uh, when Ash comes on and says, dream bigger, he's not kidding, guys. Right. Whatever that figure is, low, high, whatever it is, multiply it by 10, you're still not there. And, and for me, that's a very exciting place to be. But, but helping people around the world, I think OnPassive is already doing that. The founders are already doing that. We've already, we've already changed so many lives around. I think about Papua New Guinea. That island is going to be owned by David Baku. 
and everybody's going to be so happy he's in charge. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're, we're, we're changing lives right now and uh, uh, it's just started. So yeah, we're in a great place. It's so exciting, you know, what's happening, you know, and like you said, we are in a great place. And, and I, I think back to when you first said, you know, you were, you didn't really get it right at first. And I was the same way. I remember when I got the call and she told me what it was going to do. And I said, Hey, Candace, that's utopia. That doesn't exist. <laughs> You know, and she said, well, I don't know. He told, he said, you know, that this is what I said, it doesn't exist. And so I told her, no, that was on September 1st, 2018. And I remember driving out of the garage and driving home. And that little guy on my shoulder says, you think that was a smart decision? You know, it's a hundred bucks, dude. You spend that at a restaurant, you know? And I said, yeah, but it ain't going to work. And I just argued back and forth. And by the time I got home, I said, I called her up. I said, send me the link, you know, and I got in still not hundred percent convinced, but I'll tell you what, when I met, when I met Ash and I met his heart and I felt his heart, I felt his passion and, you know, just what he brings to the table, just meeting him, you know, he's great on, on camera, but when you meet him in person, it's amazing. And, and when you were talking about Marty, you know, talking with Marty, if me and Marty get together and start talking, all of a sudden, I ain't sleeping and I don't think he sleeps at night because we just, like you said, it's stuff you can't, you can't tell people because it's so big. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's, you know, that's the dynamic that Marty, Dan and I have. Marty's the jumper. I mean, if he's in an airplane with a parachute, he's out the door first, he's jumping. And then Dan come up behind him and then we, we, we settle down. We learn out, we learn what it, what it is, what it's doing and, how, how we can promote it, how we can help people, all that stuff. And that's the dynamic. And it's a really, really fun dynamic. Sometimes we're jumping off a cliff and we're going, what did we just do? And on passive was one of those things. We jumped off a cliff. Um, but uh, um, halfway down, the plane was there to pick us up and take us back to, uh, to ground one. So, yeah, no, it, 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 it's just fun, Milo. We just, you know, our, we have fun with everybody. Um, uh, whatever founders we're talking to, it, it, it really is a joy. We, we, we just enjoy it. Um, and if we bring a little light to the, uh, to the day, that's a good thing. Uh, and obviously if we don't, when Ash does his webinars, he just, he just knocks it out of the park every time, every se And you know, this too well, Julie, I mean, I mean, you're there on every one of them. Sometimes I, I don't envy you having to, to sit down with Ash because he could be pretty intimidating at times, you know, with what he knows and what he's doing. Um, it's pretty impressive. Absolutely. And, you know, I, I say this a lot on Passive is a blessing mm -hmm. and all the founders get called to be where we are. Mm -hmm. And only some of us are chosen to actually go and deliver the messages. Mm -hmm. and, and so I do believe wholeheartedly, whether or not you are religious or not, but I believe in the callings and the chosen and, and share the message. So I wanted to thank you, Mike, um, for being here with us. You talk about the conversation that you, Marty and Dan are having together. I told Marty, I can't wait till one day I get to spend a day at his home, you know, just with him. And then I, I'll go to Colorado to see you and Dan and get to spend a day with, with each and, and every one of you because I can't wait. I, I, I honestly, I can't wait. I, like, I, mean, I mean, it's like sitting here talking to you right now. I can't wait just, just to hug you because the, the way that you deliver who you are today, I get to truly see who Mike Ellis is because I know seeing you on the webinar, you always have, you know, the, the, the professional and, and the phase of the on passive, the trainer. But now I get to see you having a conversation with you. I just, I feel like I just want to extend my hand out and just hug you. That's how I feel. Well, Close. I, I, I can tell you, Julie, when we do meet and I, and I get that hug, it'll be terrific because I haven't had a hug in a decade. So, so I'm looking forward to that. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I will be right there. There so, you go. There, it'll, so it'll, it'll, be, it'll be terrific. Absolutely. I can't wait. My, um, my, my little. Mike, thanks so much for coming on the show. It's been a great show, man. And I, I'm glad to get to know you a little bit better. And uh, 
you know, we'll talk after the show or whatever, but man, it was, it was great having you on the show today. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. So I'm going to send it back to Miss Julie and, and take us out of here, Julie. Absolutely. Before, before I let Mike go, actually, I wanted to ask Mike really quick. Mike, you know, and every one of us know that many people really don't get the idea or the, the message of on passive. So there are still a lot of people on the fence right now that's maybe still sitting on their hand and say, what is on passive? So if you could please take a minute or two, talk to us, what are your word of wisdoms for those folks? Uh, th this has been a very, very good meeting with, with you and Milo, Julie. Um, we didn't get into the meat of things, and we'll have to do this again where we get into the meat of it, because that will get people very, very excited. But on, on passive is, is revolutionary. It is, it is so unique. And if you'll take the time to, to listen to the founding members of on passive, you're gonna hear what on passive is gonna do for you. And in the end, that's all that's important. What is it gonna do for your life? Yes, things will change as you come in and you learn more about on passive and, and your vision will expand, that will happen. But the only thing that's important today is what will on passive do for you? And there are many, many videos out there that go over what on passive is gonna be doing, how it's gonna change your life and how your life will never be the same. And you will leave a, a financial legacy to your, to your family, your kids, your community, uh, those individuals that you love. This is on passive. It was built for all of us to come in, participate and succeed and win. Uh, and in it to win it is, is on passive's kind of logo. It's true guys. So if, if you're still on the fence, as Julie said, come on in, explore it explore it. Once you understand what on passive is doing, you will have that light bulb moment and you'll go, whoa, I, I just have to be in. So um, next time when I come on, Julie, we'll get in, we'll get more into the meat of it. Uh, and there's a lot to share. And, and a few things, the, there's a few things I can share you don't know yet. So next time. I can't wait. I yeah. can't wait. I'm so I looking forward to it. I know. I can't, I, I can't wait. <laughs> Everyone, there's Mike Ellis, a little bit of Mike Ellis and a little bit about on passive with Mike Ellis. So I do hope that you enjoy the show and I do hope that you're looking forward to the next meeting when Mike is on with us again. It won't be long. Trust me, he's ready to go. And when he's on, he's going to take it. And uh, thank you, Mike, so much for being here with us. Everyone, enjoyed it. We, hope, we appreciate you in here as well. And truly, I enjoyed the conversation with you very much. Everyone, please stay well, stay healthy, go out there and help others and take care of yourself as well. Good night from Orange County, California. See y'all later. We'll, uh, we'll do this uh, quickly. And next time I come on, we'll get into the meat of it. It'll be fun. Good night from Nashville.